the vlog. It's the beginning of the week. So we're going to start with a clean slate of food. <laughs> well, not completely clean. We just went food shopping. It didn't feel like we bought that much, but clearly we did. But this is all stuff that we use all the time anyway, pretty much. We went to Aldi where I got another treasure trove of frozen veg. Oh, I didn't get peas. I should have gotten frozen peas too. I got french fries in that bag. Um, they have the best frozen veg. Some of it's organic. Some of it is, uh, it's a couple of cents more than Walmart, but the quality is so much better than Walmart. I thought Walmart was the, but it's not. It's Aldi. Uh, we also stopped at the pet store. I got the babies some um, peanut butter dog biscuits. They have three bags to uh, go through. Yes, Bowie, you deserve the best, don't you? He's like, yes, mother. I'm very tired right now. We ran into Marshall's. I got a uh, glass container and I got some pumpkin pie spice. I was looking for that for Granny the other day and ShopRite was all sold out of it. So I got one for Granny and I got one for me too. Because I like it too. And then um, we ran into BJ's. We got ciabattas at BJ's. We got the um, chickpea chips at BJ's. The butter. We got some uh, organic green tea, 100p organic. We got romaine and broccoli and the rest of the stuff that we got at uh, Aldi. I got their um, organic brown rice and quinoa um, pasta. Not my favorite, but good price. Some mushrooms, some uh, tofu. I have a tofu recipe in my head that I want to try with the rice paper. I'm very excited for it. I got uh, almond milk, pine nut hummus, some gluten-free chocolate chips, soft-baked cookies because that's Maddie's favorite. <laughs> Do you love it? Yeah. Yeah. Some refried beans. I'm really, really enjoying their Larabar knockoffs. These are so nice. They're really delicious and when you uh, want to have a nice snack that's not too sweet without the chocolate in it, this pure and simple peanut butter cookie one is bomb. I love it. So good. And a uh, Asian chopped salad kit. And that's all we got. That's it. And it rained and it sunned and it rained and it sunned. It's been a lousy lousy shopping trip with getting poured it's on and warm that is swirling so yeah. <laughs> thank you for explaining it to me double glasses okay. <laughs> do you have two pairs of glasses on yes you do <laughs> that is sexy as hell thank you oh hello it's dinner time no <laughs> move into the country Gonna eat a lot of peaches. So peaches are. Millions of peaches. Dirt, yeah. Peaches dirty word food. in this house right now. We have peaches everywhere. And we gave away a lot of peaches too. Oh, wow. Well, a good amount. But peaches, peaches, peaches. By the way, the cake was better after I actually baked it. Yeah pretty good but tonight we're having 15 minute veggie soup I uh, I should probably do this recipe on the veganist fork channel for you guys it's 15 minutes under pressure in the air no not in the air in the uh, pressure cooker and here's the dog's dinner Theirs was also the same thing, 15 minutes under pressure in the pressure cooker. So theirs has green beans, carrots, chickpeas, two different types of rice. Uh, what else did I put in there for them? Uh, butternut squash. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably about it. A little nooch for them for uh, extra flavor and extra vitamins. And uh, they love it. 
they couldn't wait to devour it and they did and then this is ours and ours we oh theirs has tomato as well ours has tomato white bean corn potatoes kale a um, little bit of bouillon uh, did I say a can of tomatoes? Yeah, I think I did. And a li and two of the uh, Beyond Sausage Brats. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of water so that it will pressurize. And this just looks delicious. It smells delicious. Oh, I think I also put a little poultry seasoning in there. And um, just a little bit of the uh, Dom De Louise Paul Prudhomme Magic Seasoning Salt. Mm -hmm. It just looks so good. Yes. Are you almost ready to eat? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Must cut the peaches. You remind me of the Dunkin' Donuts guy. Right. Time to make the donuts. Peach donuts. Time to cut the peaches. <laughs> this one's not as soft as the others. No, I can tell, but it, it does look nice. Yeah. Though. These are just... I can't even say enough how good they are. Enjoy them now because we don't know how long that tree is going to be around. I know. I had a peach tree growing up when I lived down in the city. But we never really got any peaches off of it. I mean, we would get some one or two or five peaches, but then they never made it to like adulthood. Right. Well, you remember we had that, that first peach tree. Yeah, over by the bird bath. Yeah, it, it uh, produced a couple, couple years, years, but again, it never, there were never mature peaches so you yeah. could actually eat. Right. And then it died. Well, that one also had a boar, or more than one yeah. boar. It's, I feel like all of our trees are getting boars, yeah. and that's really shitty. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you know, I can't I don't like see... That. On some trees, you can see the boar holes. You know, they're, yes. they're in a line. Right. Um, on the peach tree, I don't see boar hole, but something's eating. Yeah. I, I really, uh, you know, when you decide that you're going to plant trees, you should really research it. Yeah. And we did none of that, and unfortunately, <laughs> we, we don't we don't have enough sunlight in our yard. Yeah. For for a lot of these trees. But the peaches did really well this year. Yeah, the peach gets the most sun. I think. Yeah. The apples, um, I would have cut them back severely had I known well, what I know it. now. You gotta know, you have to have the right atmosphere for them, the right environment. Right. And then, um, you know, you have to trim them the right way. You gotta trim the hell out of them. Yeah. I you know? always felt like, oh, I think we let them. ours go too I big. I trim them. I know you did. Absolutely. But I mean, when you first plant them, that's the most important thing. You gotta trim it right. As soon as you put it in Yes. The yes. From the from the beginning. And it looks like you're killing the tree. But you're not. You have this little tiny stub, but that's the way you're supposed to do it. Yeah. When you go apple picking or, you know, fruit picking, yeah. they have those severely trimmed and they get an S ton of fruit off of it. Yeah. yeah, that was our big mistake. We we weren't severe enough. No. Too bad. Oh well, but yeah. we're, <laughs> we're enjoying them now. I'm going to eat now. Okay, I me too. Like itchies all over no! Me. I hope not. You don't want to take a quick shower before you eat? Oh. Well, enjoy either way. Yeah. Hey, peaches. <laughs> don't let the peaches get you down. Need some help today. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not having veggies for breakfast today, but not because I don't want to, because I definitely want to, but I have to finish up these blueberries. So I got some unsweetened vanilla coconut yogurt with like half a pint of blueberries, just a sprinkling of granola on the top, because that's high calorie. So I'm just enjoying that. I already got a million blueberry seeds in my teeth. That is the downfall of blueberries. I hate that part. I think the blackberries are even worse. Blackberries are, uh, 
it's different because the blackberry seeds are really big so you can kind of like avoid them they're not going to go between your teeth but the blueberry seeds kind of go between your teeth but i thought i would um <laughs> reward you guys because why not i was cleaning out my drawer in the bedroom and i came across these photos and everybody was asking since I, we had the wedding dress out the other day can you show us a, a wedding picture when we were just babies yeah <laughs> sorry I, I know i have like blueberry all over my teeth <laughs> so attractive right so this is from the first wedding the dress made an appearance at the second wedding but it was zhuzhed up this is the plain one now this first <coughs> one is right before we got married right before i married sean cassidy <laughs> And I'm um, gonna get this in focus because this is not good. Here, let's prop this up against the Tums bottle. <laughs> there, that's better. Let's just let it focus, focus, or not. There we go. This is in Queens City Hall, County right? Courthouse. County Courthouse. Queens County Courthouse, right? We were sitting there dying i have a little shawl on over my wedding gown because it was the end of december it was cold and rainy that day mark is there with his freaking hair helmet thank you <laughs> we were both skinny as hell malnourished i'm sure not really we were just skinny we were young and uh we were just nervous as hell even though we knew this was the best thing. Right. And then here is during the wedding. We've got a nice Polaroid snap here. There's the lady who married us in her uh, disco dress made of polyester, which did not breathe at all. She also had, you can't see it in the photo, but she had on a pair what of very you, nice cowboy boots. Did you interview her? No, I could see. You cannot breathe. This dress could not breathe, but it was okay because it was cold that day. You could see my hair from the side. It's very similar to what I have now, except it's a actual faux hawk. Wonder if she still works for the city. I don't know. She must be retired by now, right? That was like 38 years ago. Could be. And uh, I don't know if I'm crying in that picture or not, but I did shed a few tears at my first wedding. <laughs> I know I cried my eyes out at the second wedding. The funny thing is. When you get married the second time, and you've been married already, it means so much more. Like the first time you're just scared. <laughs> what am I doing? You know? You know what I mean? Yes. I knew what I was doing, but <clears throat> I was only 18 years old. The second time I was 21, and it just meant so much more the second time because we had really gone through it. <laughs> Am I right? Mm. You cried too, didn't you? I don't recall. Well, I cried. And then this is after um, when we got home. And there I am. Freshly married, newly married. New, married newborn. Freshly minted bride. Yes, freshly minted bride. That's your bride. So there you go. <laughs> I have slippers on in that photo. I don't, I don't think you can see it. Because my feet were killing me. I couldn't afford expensive pumps. And the ones that I got at like Payless were cutting my heels off. Mm. They hurt so bad. I'm sorry. <sighs> they were terrible. And I'm sure I could have used like a wide or like maybe even 11 would have been so comfortable. But they really didn't have much 11s back then. Now they have like bigger sizes. I'm 5'10". I have big feet. I take a big size of shoe. I hate stuffing my foot into something that doesn't fit me. But I didn't have much choice. I wasn't going to wear some uh, freaking Doc Martens under my wedding dress. So. Oh, come on. Oh. I mean I probably would now. But that's because I'm more comfortable being me now. Back then, 
I was still trying to figure it out. Now I could just do whatever the hell I want because it's me. <laughs> it me. <laughs> right? Yes. Exactly. So the older you get, the better it gets. Hopefully. Because you just, you say, hey, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on this earth. I'm just going to just be me. And I'm going to be okay with that. And it's okay not to be okay. So just do whatever. So that's my philosophy <laughs> for what it's worth. Cool. You got that for free. Consider that your first therapy appointment. Just do, just do you. Not a licensed therapist. Not a licensed therapist for entertainment purposes only. But as, at least as good as Lucy in Charlie Brown. And she charged five cents. I didn't charge you anything. So... Just hit that like button. Yeah, just hit the like button. Subscribe and smash, smash it. it. <laughs> smash it. Alright, we're not going biking today because it's hot. And we don't feel great. My sniffles are annoying. Let's feel yeah, you're warm, feeling a little run down. Run down, tired. But I'm gonna finish my breakfast. Uh, we probably have to run into Sam's Club to pick up a few essentials that we didn't get yesterday. It's not a full shopping trip. Not an actual shopping trip. Just a run in. Peach. Yeah. Peach. I wish I had peaches in my yogurt, but I already, I had to eat the blueberries. Yeah. Sorry, honey. Sorry, honey. The freezer's filling up to the top <laughs> yeah, we gotta of do peaches. I'm going to get rid of some old stuff. The cake was good after I actually cooked it. Right. <laughs> I didn't realize, is our toaster oven not working very well? Because I, I swear to God, I cooked that thing for over an hour and a half. And it still didn't cook. I don't know. It's pretty big though. Whoever wrote that recipe, I'm not following it again because they said to cook it for 40 minutes at 350 and there was no way. I should have known. I should have known. And then I cooked it an extra half an hour and it still wasn't cooked. And then when I got home from Granny's, I cooked it for another 40 minutes and then it was finally cooked. But that's crazy. Why would you have to cook a peach cobbler for like two hours? Something must be wrong with the toaster. Which I really hope not. It still is good for toast and everything and pizza night, but maybe, um, I, I don't know. I think it was just because the peaches are wet and it just didn't have enough time. I don't know. It's my fault. Mom, you're amazing, but you leave the cooking to me, sir. Yeah. <laughs> you got that. Thank you. I'm, good I'm qualified. Yes, that is a good one. Very soft. Oh, yeah. Just cut away a little of that rotten pot. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Why are you putting that on I there? I didn't mean to. All right. I got to go. We got to go. So, we'll see you tomorrow. I want to thank you for watching. We appreciate you. And until tomorrow, much love.